It's a subject that I've always been curious about. For me, I believe in good and evil. And so does our next guest. He battles darkness on a very personal and regular basis. Sir, please tell us about yourself. I believe in the existence of Satan. It is my ministry to expel Satan from those people whose bodies have been infiltrated by Satan and sometimes possessed. I am a modern day exorcist. Please step into the light. <laughs> Father Gary Thomas. Father Gary. Father, first of all, thank you for being here with us. Well, thank you for inviting me. I'm very glad I could be here with all of you. It's our honor. You know, a lot of people, uh, you hear them say they believe in God, but I've heard so many people say that they don't believe in the devil, they don't believe in evil. Um, but clearly you have a very different take uh, on that. You believe there is a devil and that he acts upon people. I do. I believe that because I've had plenty of experiences of it. It's also what we teach in Christianity. Yeah, absolutely. The, the whole yeah. purpose of the mission of Christ was to defeat Satan, right. sin, and death. That's right. So let me ask you about this very important question. There are different types of demonic possession. Yes. What are the different types, and what have you personally experienced? Okay. One would be uh, harassment, where someone feels that there is some kind of a presence that is around them in some way and harassing them, or maybe sometimes breathing on them, or they feel some kind of a brush or some kind of a presence that they can't really put necessarily to words, but... They feel something else is around them. Oppression would be another deeper level, which really involves kind of a, a type of um, depression, mm -hmm. where a person is suffering a great amount of malaise. Obsession has more to do with psychosis, psychotic types of events, such as auditory hallucinations or visual hallucinations. And of course, <laughs> what is rare, but what is not absolutely out of the question, would be possession itself, which is where a demon, a preternatural reality, has taken full control of the body and of that person. what have you actually seen? I would say uh, the worst case has been uh, a gentleman who I have, our team prayed over for four years and who exhibited the most ferocious manifestations uh, that I have ever participated in along with, uh, we didn't have just our team, but we had several other teams present as well where we had numerous people holding this gentleman down. And so he fell on the floor and began to slither as a serpent. Yep. And finally, we invoke the angelic Michael and his legions rather than ourselves to actually restrain this person, and we were successful in doing that. But over the course of four years, uh, we were able to cast out dozens of demons that had entered him. Wow. Look, Father, I got to ask you this. Uh, in being right on the front line, have you yourself had to deal with demonic attack? Yes. Uh, sometimes what happens is demons know your weak spots. And so in the years that I've been an exorcist, this is not so much now, but in my early years, uh, I would have these very strong sexual temptations that were really outside the bounds of what uh, the intensity was really. Uh, I mean, everybody has temptations, but these were sort of really outside the bounds of what would ever be normal for me. Father, let me ask you this. As, as a kid, I saw the first time a woman in church crawling literally on the ground like a snake mm -hmm. with a soprano voice, but she sounded like a demon. Yeah. And about 10 years ago, I was called in for somebody who was dealing with demons. And when I walked into that room, Bibles began to come up and move around in the air. Mm -hmm. That's the first time I, saw, I literally saw Bibles come up off of tables and begin to move around in the air. Do you see that uh, in Catholicism that demonic possession and the rise of demons and Satan is on the rise? I do, and I believe that it is on the rise because I think the amount of paganism that's practiced in our country is on the increase. Mm -hmm. And I think where we have become very isolated from each other, I think that has been in its own way a kind of paganism where people become very, very focused on self wow. rather than on wow. selflessness. You know, I want to thank you for taking the time to come and share with us uh, because... Uh, what you have shared, again, has opened up eyes. It's real. It is yes. real. Absolutely. From a Christian perspective, 
but to the people who are watching who have battled through things and popular culture tells you it's just a game. It's not a game. It's very real. Yes. The enemy is real. Satan is real, but God is more real. Thank you, Father Gary. Yes. We're the preachers.